The Teatro Nacional de São Carlos is an opera house located in Lisbon, Portugal. It was built in the late 18th century during the reign of Queen Maria I as part of a larger cultural initiative to promote the arts and sciences in the country. The theater was designed by the Italian architect Jose de Casta e Silva who was commissioned by the royal court to create a space that would rival the greatest opera houses of Europe. The construction of the building was completed in 1793, and it was named after King Charles III of Spain, who at the time was also the King of Portugal. The Opera House became the center of musical and theatrical life in Lisbon during the 19th century. It hosted performances by some of the greatest composers and performers of the era, including Rossini, Donizetti, and Paganini. The theater was also the site of several important premieres such as the first Portuguese production of Verdi's La Traviata in 1858. During the Estado Novo regime in Portugal, the Opera House was used as a tool to promote nationalist and conservative values, as well as to showcase the regime's cultural and artistic achievements. Under the leadership of Antonio de Olvera Salazar, the regime heavily subsidized the arts, including the Opera House, as part of its broader cultural policies. However, this support came with strict conditions and the content of the productions was subject to censorship and political control. The regime also used the Opera House to promote its image abroad, inviting foreign companies and performers to the theater, while limiting the opportunities for Portuguese artists and companies to perform there. In the early 20th century, the Opera House fell into decline and it was eventually closed for renovation in the 1960s. Despite this, before its close, the theater remained a cultural icon in Portugal and continued to attract internationally renowned performers and companies, including the Bolshoi Ballet. 
Following the Coronation Revolution in 1974, the Opera House was renovated and modernized, and it became a symbol of the new democratic era in Portugal. The theater continues to operate today as one of the country's premier cultural institutions, hosting a wide range of productions and performances. The theater was restored to its former glory in the 1990s, and it continues to become one of the premier cultural institutions in Portugal, hosting performances by international and Portuguese companies alike.